I know it's a difficult time for everyone now. It's lockdown and all of us stay at home. I was at home for about two months and couldn't handle it anymore. All the borders were closed, so I decided to travel around Ukraine. The first city of my journey is Kravirik. I found an illegal driver who took me to the city. I packed all my stuff and left home. The cities are situated pretty far from each other. It's 450 kilometers between Kiev and Kravirik. It took me 6 hours to get there. As I'm your guide for now, I need to show and tell about the city. Kravirik is a modern industrial city. It's famous for its length, 120 km from north to south, which makes the city the third largest in the world. The city founded in 1775, according to the local legend. Once upon a time, there was a Kazakh named Rik, who walked with a pronounced leap caused by a serious shot to his leg. Nowadays, there are many mines, ironworks, and one of the world's biggest open pits, Pervomaisk, which is 3 km long and 400 meters deep. Most of the city is colored red. Because of mines and plants, Kirvirik is considered as the dirtiest city in Ukraine. Many tourists call the city Mars. But there is another side of its appearance. For example, park named Fedora Marcheva, with a picturesque scenery of the river, forest and playground. There is also the world's longer 22 meters flower clock. The hover hand is 8 meters long and the second hand is 12 meters long. About two years ago, my friend and I climbed it up, got caught and eventually we ran away. I actually climbed the world's longer flower clock. I have always been attracted by local underground structures, by mind in particular. Now my six hours long trip is is about to end and I came to the city. So I arrive in the city and tomorrow we'll explore something. So see you tomorrow! I need to wake up. I had already contacted someone to teach and show me how to get down to underground and I going right there. <laughs> it's feeling I like in a village, <laughs> but this is town. This is fucking beautiful mountains and green. My first test is to descend a pit shaft. Pit shaft means a hole from 20 to 25 meters deep. I come here to learn how to use belay device for descending and lifting. So here I put one my leg and here I put another one. Before doing something, I should tighten two bills on my harness enough, so it will be like it, but I'll still be able to move freely. This is my rope grab. Rope grab is a device which helps me to climb up. Now we're gonna go practice and to the ground. And the main part of training will be underground. Even if I can do this myself, I'll ask for help and they will lift me. It's safe and secure. I shouldn't worry and panic. You can unlock this your thumb and take it on. Use your thumb to lock it as well. Now it isn't moving anymore. To descend you have to put your thumb here and take the edge off so it can lift and descend. To take it off you have to put your thumb under it and move it aside. When you take it on, it clicks and take it off with your thumb as well. Now I should try to take it on and off. Mm -hmm. Those stamps are called an additional belay. You can attach unset equipment to the tapes so it won't just fall down. And this is my descender called Fede. 
This device is a descender. Descenders I designed to help regulate friction and control the descent on fixed rope when the rope does through the parts of the device. So I hold this with my left hand. If I tighten it, the rope can't move and I'll also stop moving. I got it. I should unlock it slowly to descend slowly. The more vertical position I am in, the more strain is on the center. I have to pull the lower rope up to make some strain. You should pull the rope in parallel, because if you pull it aside, you just fritter away straight. The more parallel, the less energy. Firstly, I'd better practice. Right now Kola is blaming the rope not to fall down. He will throw all the rocks away, so it will be safe for us to descend. Otherwise, those rocks couldn't fall on my hand. I hope I won't be at a loose and everything will be okay. How exactly will I lift myself? I put my foot in this loop. I pull a rope grab up as much as I can. Then I have to change to stress point. I have to stand here and rise maximally. In the moment of deciding, I have to pull this rope in parallel to him main rope. And the length of the rope I just pull it is the distance I decided. If you throw this rope away, my blow rope doesn't make me fall. Before descent, I must check my equipment of everything is ok. Each mistake might cost me much and cause serious dangers for my health. Kolya attach my blow to his rope and be sure I'm ok and make me sure he is ok as well. I'm held by two belay ropes and Haim is now. Descent a bit coarse, I can do it. This rock could fall right on my head. At the moment I felt like a hero in an action movie. It wasn't difficult for me to descend, but I was very unusual. I could hardly keep balance. I tired to do everything I had already been told to do on the ground. Yes, guys, it's not afraid. It's really cool experience for me. At first legs under my feet were like a lager and I could go down to the stairs. But I knew it was wrong cause during to my future descent there wouldn't be any longer. So I began using my feet to the size as much as possible. Now you can see an incident a frequent old lasers which were used by workers many years ago. They used them instead to bly to descend into the mine and duck for power. This logic is less 100 years old. That's why I must wear a helmet to prevent rocks falling down from the top. The lower we got, the wetter it was. I can even stay at the ground, it's very slippery. I descend in the darkness, so it will be impossible to see anything clearly. The first problem, the main rope just ended, and they decided to throw me the rope. The rope hit the camera so much that the cup fell. <laughs> So guys, I lost my case. Yeah. But I find it. Yeah, find. We are finally on the bottom. I remember what I was taught upstairs. I take the main rope and attach it to the rope grab. Then I get ready to descend it. I am being checked if I have locked everything in the right way to avoid any problems. I started climbing quickly. 
I have always threw the most of strain is on arms, but in fact it is on legs. At first it's not difficult at all. If you do it in your own rhythm, but soon you begin getting very tired. I'm so tired. At the end I got completely tired, but understanding that I had to do this. Here, maybe 20 year, uh, meters, and I did it. Who it was difficult, I know it's not dangerous, but if you don't try, you don't understand how is it. My white shirt. Let's take a brief break and go for a walk around the city. As there are many shifts in the city, lots of careers have been formed. Many of shifts collapsed and create funnels. Some funnels are drought and the water levels ground every year. For example, a group of extreme gathers here to walk along a tangent wire between two points right above the precipice, with belay of course. was given a chance to get to the end and take a picture for Instagram. It's so fucking clear. I think here maybe 150 meters under me. There is also a waterfall in the city. When the dam is open, it creates a fountain. It doesn't look like a movie, but it's still very beautiful. Pass 2. This time there is not flat surface and no help. I'll have to do anything myself. And this place is more difficult than the previous one. Okay, now we need to go here and I think we will go in the mine. But I, I don't know in 100%, but we will try. My second time get dressed. These things. The problem is that I have to use another arm to descend, which is pretty uncomfortable. It influences my descent. During my first descent I was pretty calm because of a man who was watching me. But now I was alone and I worried very much. I was doing everything very slowly and doubtfully. My head.
helmet and flashlights help. I got more and more nervous, as there are a lot of big and shell rocks feeling down from the tops. I was very dangerous, so asked friends to give me another helm. I would be able to attach it a rope and the guy will take it. My fear of high just appeared when I saw the flashlight falling down. I was scared and I was doing everything very slowly. Mm -hmm. Понял, понял. By the skin of tint, it was almost okay and continue walking. It definitely passed and crash test. Now we go it from there. Going down, down, down. And going in this tunnel. Now we are going to explore an abandoned shift. This is not just a shift, it's mine full of a precious metals. Firstly, Myers made such holes, then they pulled dynamite inside. It explodes and collapses till our minds come and call it the ore. That's how its pit was probably formed. Those holes was made by people. It appearance it was a place of mining something. I want to see that's inside, so I will get there. Mm -hmm. Now I know that the ground collapsed and normal person can't get through those holes freely. I was right, it's just a pit, there is nothing here, so I should go back. No, 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 It's time to return. As I am last one, I must take the rope.
Whew. I'm so fucking thirsty. I don't want to go up from there. Oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, I'm ready to go home because I'm fucking tired. Ugh. And there is also metro here, which probably one citizens know about. Because it's not ever to the metro, it's more like tram in the tunnel. Metro lines are so short that the most impossible to get anywhere by it. I should go there and check it myself. First at all, I'm going to see the abandoned juvenile railway. Only 300 meters of the railway was built and construction was finished at the end of 1980s. This is abandoned. Kids railway station. Nowadays metals and even wood are scrouched. I don't get it at all. This tunnel is littered with garbage now. Now it's time to visit the metro. Now it's not already the metro. We can get inside the tunnel. I wanted to get there to enjoy the view of train basin over near. Finally, I found the metro. Such spaces are actually built for workers to hide there when the train is going. But it's service room now. A lot of equipment of support to be here. But there is nothing somehow. Let's wait for the last of us and run away. I'd like to thank Dungeon team for help and excursion. Our Dungeon channel offers you exciting and fascinating sights and adventures. Old mines and pits, uh, mystic catacombs, mysterious dungeons, collapsed mine shafts reveal their secrets to you. You are welcome! My days are coming to an end in the city, so we will meet in the next city.